Hello, hi everyone. This is Shreeja. Welcome to Skin Real, where I talk all things skincare. So, if you like skincare related content, then make sure that you subscribe. Likewise, you can also follow me on Instagram, where I post more regularly. So today I'm going to touch upon a topic that is very near and dear to my heart. It's basically the reason as to why Skino Real even exists in the first place. Today I'm going to talk about skin barrier. Yes, you guys, when I started this channel, skin barrier was the first video that I did. Of course, I was much more awkward back then and it looked like that I'm reading from a script or something. However, uh, I'm still learning like you need to take these tiny tiny steps to reach where you ultimately want to reach one day. I'm not saying that I have reached that stage. I'm nowhere near perfect. I'm still learning every single day. But as I have started seeing a significant growth in my YouTube channel and on my IG page, I realized that it is important to talk about skin barrier once again. Reason being that I see a lot of you guys trying multiple different skincare products, using so many skincare actives, investing your hard earned money, but still not getting the desired results. And I think this happens because we often forget the basics of skincare. We try to run after skin trends and we don't give two shits about our skin needs. So let us first start with understanding as to what is our skin barrier. Skin barrier is also known as the moisture barrier or the lipid barrier of your skin. It is basically a wall. Think of it as a wall that is there to protect your skin. Your skin barrier plays a very important role in protecting your skin from acne bacteria along with keeping in the moisture and the good stuff inside. If your skin barrier is healthy, you will have a healthy skin in the long run. Whereas if you're suffering from a compromised skin barrier, so basically when you start uh, using wrong skincare products, you start skipping sunscreen, you start overlaying your skin with skincare actives, then your skin barrier gets irritated and inflamed. And there are tiny cracks in between. I mean, not in reality, but I'm just telling you for this, for the purpose of imagination. So when your barrier gets destroyed, think that there are tiny gaps and holes. And through these tiny gaps and holes, the moisture escapes into the atmosphere and the acne bacteria and the external environment actually starts harming your skin. Of course, this is just an imaginary concept, but uh, skin is not that simple. And uh, of course, if you get into the physiology of skin, it will make things even more complicated. So for the purpose of this video, let's just stick to this simplification. You know, now I get a lot of clients who tell me that, you know, Shrija, I have always had good skin, but now suddenly I have started breaking out. Like all of it is just happening suddenly. I have had this skincare routine for the longest time in my life. Yes, agreed. But guys, you need to understand that that barrier damage can happen over the years. Your skin is a very smart organ and it can take that damage for years and years and suddenly only one day that you will start to notice all that irritation and inflammation. So when this happens, you need to realize that something is not right and you need to switch up your skincare routine or even cut back on certain things that you're doing. So how to know that your barrier is damaged? This is exactly what I'm gonna discuss in this video. I'm gonna talk about certain signs and symptoms that are clear indications of a damaged skin barrier. So starting with sign number one, your skin feels tight and stretchy after washing and no amount of moisturizer is enough to hydrate your skin. This is not something that you have to confuse with dry skin. Yes, I understand if you have naturally dry skin that you always have this need for intense moisturizers, oils, etc. But if you have a compromised skin barrier, even after washing your face, there's just a, a very uncomfortable feeling, especially around this area. And even after applying your moisturizers, your oils, your overnight mask, nothing seems to work. You just still feel that there is a need for an extra moisture or an extra layer of hydration. And keep in mind that this can also happen with oily skin. This was personally one of my first signs of a damaged skin barrier wherein I started feeling that no amount of moisturizer is enough for my skin. So be extremely careful. Of course, this tight and stretchy feeling is also a sign of a highly alkaline cleanser. But keep this in mind that, you know, you can still use those cleansers and like after that you'll be fine if you use like a right moisturizer but not when your barrier is compromised so uh, you have to pay attention to this slight sign that your skin is giving you the number two indication of a damaged skin barrier is 
your sudden acne inflammation and breakouts that take longer to heal. If you have acne prone skin, they will definitely be a little different than your regular breakouts. You will start experiencing breakouts in areas where you usually don't break out. These breakouts also start to appear as long pores which later then turn into inflamed acne bumps and they also sometimes become big and turn into full-blown pustules. They also leave marks that take forever to go and keep in mind that no amount of anti-acne spot treatments, your exfoliating toners or retinols will work for these because this is a time where a barrier is compromised and your skin cannot take tolerate these actives. So it can get confusing for people who usually break out but when your barrier is compromised, no amount of OTC, anti-acne products or even prescription products would work for you. So uh, if that is happening to you, then you need to cut down on these excessive drying spot treatments and let your skin heal. Just go for like a basic cleanser, moisturizer and sunscreen routine. Do this for like a weekend month and see how your skin is responding. The third sign of a compromised skin barrier is extreme redness and sensitivity, even when you just wash your face with water. So when I talk about extreme redness and sensitivity, I'm not talking about your skin reacting to products. Of course, if you have sensitive skin, you're going to experience that frequently. But if you are developing sensitivity and irritation due to a compromised skincare barrier, then a moisturizer as gentle as Clinique Moisture Surge might start to sting on your face. Your regular skincare products that work absolutely well for you will start burning and there will be a tingling sensation. Even just washing your face with water will give you that feeling. So be very mindful if that is happening to you, it's a red flag that your barrier is not healthy and you need to do something about it. The fourth sign of a compromised skin barrier is that even though your skin feels dry and dehydrated, but towards the end of the day, you will notice uh, this excessive shininess or oiliness all over your face and especially in your T-zones. This happens because when your barrier is compromised, your skin gets dehydrated. And as you guys know that our skin can't produce water, so of course in retaliation it will produce more oil leading to an excess oil production. So this is different to you know having an oily skin in general. When you have oily skin in general, you don't get that tight and dry feeling. But if you are suffering from a dehydrated skin because of compromised skin barrier, then you will get this tight and dry feeling and at the same time you will experience excessive oiliness in your skin. The next sign of a compromised skin barrier is marks and pigmentation that is taking forever to go. So what happens is that when your barrier gets compromised, our skin also loses its ability to heal itself. Uh, you must have noticed that when you were a teenager and you used to get acne, those marks used to heal very quickly without doing anything. But with age, of course, this process slows down because the cellular turnover of our skin slows down. However, when your barrier is compromised, this process becomes extremely slow. It can take even months and years for one PI to fade. So if this is happening to you and then you know uh, when your barrier is compromised and you're adding irritating actives like vitamin C, this is even more counterproductive. So keep in mind, of course, PIE and PIH take time to heal, but if it is taking nearly months and years, then you might want to consider looking into the barrier health of your skincare. Moving on, let us talk about the last point that is an indication of a damaged skin barrier and that is nothing is working for you literally nothing from these nonsense DIYs that you see online they are not supposed to work in the first place but it's okay if you are still trying them uh, no really it's not okay if you are trying them I highly recommend stop using like stop putting Nimu Mirchi on your face and please just invest in properly formulated skincare Anyway, so when I say nothing is working for you, by this I mean that no amount of products that you're applying, like even your anti-acne actives are not working for you, your uh, moisturizer is not able to hydrate your skin, even after using all these OTC products, you feel that your skin is not improving or is getting better, then I think that is the time where you might want to seek some professional help. If you're experiencing full-blown cystic acne, then go visit a dermat because you might need a prescription medicine to control that situation to prevent scarring. If you are suffering from a compromised skin barrier and you feel you just need um, its minor breakouts here and there 
or like minor pustules so then i can of course help you i can build a routine for you that will help you take care of it for that you can visit my website please don't ask me in comments to build a routine for you because i really cannot do that before analyzing your skin but yes you need to not let the situation get out of hands because it can just prolong your healing process and another tip from my side would be that if you are someone who's suffering from a compromised skin barrier then please 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 wear a sunscreen and don't do these nonsense diys because it will really make your skin worse in the long run and another thing stay away from essential oils especially the undiluted ones that you know because i see a lot of people using tea tree oil directly on your face this is highly irritating for you so please don't do that just stick to a basic routine and you might start to see that your barrier has started healing on its own i also have a video where i have talked about uh, barrier friendly skincare products so you might want to check that out as well so that is all i have for you guys today if you enjoy watching my video then please don't forget to like share and subscribe i'll see you next time bye